The next letter in the Hebrew Aleph Bet is the letter Chaf. So the letter Chaf is equivalent to two English letters. So let's write this letter twice. So this is print and this is cursive. Just like with the letter bet, when the chaf has a dagesh inside it, it will be equivalent to the English letter k. However, when the chaf does not have a dot inside it, does not have a dagesh inside it, it will be equivalent to the Hebrew letter chet, jalapeno. Let's write some words. The first word that we're going to write is the word because in Hebrew. Ki. Ki. Because. The second word that we're going to write will be the word for respect and honor in Hebrew. Kavod, kavod, ka, vo, d, kavod, respect and honor. Kavod. The next word will be the word. Just like that. Kaha. Like that. What does it mean? It means do like that. Kaha. Kaha. So here we see the chaf, actually the kaf with the Dagesh inside it, and here we have the Chaf without the Dagesh, which makes it equivalent to the Hebrew Chet. Jalapeno sound is a good reference. Kaha. The next word will be the word for a star in Hebrew. Kohav. Ko. Chav. Kohav. A star. Kohav. The next word will be the word for power or energy in Hebrew. If you read it as kocha, I'm sorry to disappoint you because we should say kocha. It should be pronounced and read as ko-ach. 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 Ko-ach means power or strength. So what we uh, need to learn from it is when we have the letter chet in the form of the last letter and it has the patach vowel sign, the sound changes from ha to ach, ko ach. So once again, when we have the letter chet in the form of the last letter of the word, and it has the patach a vowel under it, it will change its sound from ha, like we all initially thought, to ach, ko ach.